This is Facial Palsy Awareness Week. It runs from today to March 7th. In today's Health Watch, Local 5's Connie Feldman introduces us to a woman whose experience with Bell's palsy once kept her behind closed doors. The ability to smile, something many of us take for granted. For one local woman with Bell's palsy, the specialists at Aurora Baker Medical Center gave her back her confidence to face the world. I am much more confident to go out in public and talk. Obviously, I'm here right now, so that's, <laughs> that's a big TV. step for me. Yeah. It's hard to imagine this beautiful young mother and wife as someone who was once hesitant to be seen in public. So I didn't go out much, and honestly, I was very happy for COVID to stay at home and not work and just be in my own little bubble by myself. But that's what De Pere's Heather Schmidt says she felt like after experiencing Bell's Did palsy. You? I would not go out. I wouldn't hang out with my friends. I wouldn't go. I would stay in. I just was embarrassed and I didn't want to have to explain myself to everybody. Bell's palsy is a neurological disorder that can cause varying degrees of paralysis on one side of the face. The virus can be triggered just like any other virus and it attacks the facial nerve. Karen Floriano Heimerl is a speech language pathologist at Aurora Bay Care with special training in facial neuromuscular movement essentially retrain the brain to form these new pathways so that um, when the person activates one muscle, it doesn't activate two or three muscles at the same time. Through her work in speech therapy, the physiological improvement in Schmidt's facial muscles has made her Bell's palsy barely noticeable, but she says it wasn't always that way. At one point, I like I couldn't eat or drink without drooling. You know, yeah. I had to tape yeah. my eyes shut every night. Schmidt says her sessions with Floriano Heimerl have been most healing in ways you can't see on the outside. It was very hard. Karen and I, well, I had a lot of crying sessions with Karen um, just throughout all of it. Floriano Heimerl says that's a big part of working with patients with any kind of facial palsy. Our face is really a huge part of our identity. So, of course, if there's a difference there, that's emotionally devastating to most people. Schmidt and Floriano Heimerl both say they want people to know the resources that are available to help them. I really wanted to do this Health Watch story because when I meet with patients, most of them say I never knew that there was anything I could do for this. If I didn't talk to that one neurologist to recommend Karen, I would have never known. And I saw how many in between. This isn't something that can be prevented, but it is something that we can do facial retraining um, to try to help. For Schmidt, that's a reason to smile. Karen's just really helped me emotionally like build up my self-esteem. Bell's palsy is the most common condition that causes facial palsy. It can also occur with Ramsey-Hunt syndrome. To schedule an appointment with one of Aurora Bay Care specialists, call 920-288-8000. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News. Thank you, Connie. Tomorrow in Health Watch, we have uh, smartphones, right? And we've got smart watches. So why not a smart knee?